Alright YouTube channel, um, I figured I'd do a something good Sunday as well as a new product and today we're going to look at the Ninja Woodfire Outdoor Grill and Smoker. Um, I actually got this on Father's Day, I've seen a couple people with them and we're going to find out if it's worth Ninja going outdoors and making a grill. Now this Ninja Woodfire Outdoor Grill and Smoker is a 7 in 1 situation. Um, there is grill, there is smoker, there is air crisp, bake, roast, broil, and dehydrate. And one of the biggest things that really sets this apart from the rest of their indoor stuff is it is a true smoker. It comes with um, two packs of pellets. Um, and um, from what I see, other people use their own pellets, I should say, but it comes with two, so we're gonna try that out. Now, it seems to me that you can smoke brisket whole turkeys, chickens, pork chops, all that good stuff. Um, but today, I'm just gonna hit it with the nitty gritty and I'm just gonna do some burgers and hot dogs and see what type of grill slash smoke flavor that we get in this little bundle. I'll talk about the price later and if I think it's worth it. Um, and before we get started into this, if you do like this video and my wife over here is the one who put this together, let us know what else you would like to see put on this machine here. Some hot dogs. Well, besides that, we gon' we gonna do hot dogs and hamburgers right now. But yes, yeah, it's a it's a good uh, Father's Day gift, and we get ready to unpack uh, the the price of it and see how it turns out compared to all the grill we have. This little box, it's a good size, um, and it's supposed to take in one scoop full of these pellets so let's see i decided to cho choose this uh, robust smoky and rich so we're going to see how much of this actually gets in here and what type of smoke we actually going to produce all right so now that our pellets are in the smoker we're going to turn this on and there is an ignition start to kind of get this thing heated up. So since we're doing a smoker and a simple grill, I'm gonna turn it on grill, hit the smoke flavor. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on low actually, and turn this to about 19 minutes because I'm gonna cook these hot dogs, I mean these hamburgers first. So, and we'll see what comes from this wood fire. See how much smoke we get. All right, while we set that on ignite and get the smoker and the fire going and the heat and all that good stuff, uh, let me talk about a couple things real quickly about this grill. Number one, it does not come with a stand. That's why you see it on that table. They do sell all those stuff separately, but in this case, I just wanted to check it out, so we got it. We'll probably get some more accessories as I use it a little bit more and more here, um, but it does not come with a stand. Uh, you do want to make sure that you do all of this outdoors because it does create a lot of smoke. And that is really essentially what you're buying this Ninja outdoor wood fire and grill for. Um, right now, we just turned it on. I'm going to show you how much smoke we're getting right now. So, like I said, we're going to go ahead and get this done really quickly. Um, we're going to go ahead and season up some burgers and I'm gonna get some hot dogs on there just to see what type of smoke smell and flavor that we get out of this. This right here is a blend that came from Omaha Steaks. Uh, some more essential meat products that I received uh, for Father's Day. So we're gonna try this seasoning here. I normally do my own blend, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this to see what's going on. See how it tastes. All right, so this Ninja Woodfire Outdoor Grill also came with this book. 
and it has tons of like uh, recipes for grilling, dehydrating, everything that it has in it, you know, it, it has something for it. You got your smoked beef brisket, so if you want to do any type of smoking you can. If you're just doing grilling, it has its own grilling and things of that nature. It's just a, a, a lot of little small recipes in here. Now, you can do your own. You don't have to follow any of this, but it's good that it comes with this book, especially if you're just buying and you're not normally a griller. Um, I have a flat time grill out there. We also have a charcoal grill. So I'm waiting to use this because I actually do not own a smoker. Although I live in Texas, I actually do not own one. So we're gonna see what type of flavor we get out of this, like I said before, and um, kind of talk about the price and sit down and see if it's something that has worked for you. Alright, so now that our grill top is saying add food, we're going to go ahead and get that going. It is a beautiful aroma happening right now, so come take a look at this and show you these pellets over here. They are smoking right now, so all that good smoke flavor should just end up in here. So, let's see what we got. Got a nice, nice sizzle already, so I'm not, I'm not, not mad at it. Then when this one is on, we close top. And it starts your timer. my meat <laughs> as much as possible so I'm gonna try to look at it every five minutes and uh, see how it's doing so I will be back with y'all once it's done today's sponsor is, is NutriChamp now you guys know we do something good Sunday and we travel all different places and we eat all types of exotic foods and sometimes you miss out on those important nutrients and ingredients and greens that you need in your diet so our sponsor today, NutriChamps, comes out with a product called Super Greens. They have tons of other products for your daily health, but this is something that we have in our diet every day. It helps us get those nutrients that we miss throughout the day, and definitely those green vegetables that I don't always get to add into my diet. So, yes, make sure you pick up some Super Greens. Now, I'll have down below a link uh, that you can go to for us, and then also put in our promo code and get 15 to 25% off on anything you purchase. They have B12 for energy. They have the different types of powder for super greens that you have. And this super greens right here, it's not bad. My wife uses it in shakes. I use it just in water. It's, it actually tastes pretty good. I drink it in the beginning of the day after finishing working out. And then I know at least I got my nutrients for the day. So all the other stuff that I eat, I don't have to worry about. So again, thank you super greens and everyone else. Let's get heart healthy. Let's get healthy in general. Check out that link below and make sure you grab some and put some in your diet. Thanks. Now, mind you, I have the uh, grill cooking on low. Most people have it on high when they're doing certain things, but it's my first use. I'm not about to just jack up some hamburgers and hot dogs. So I got it on low and uh, we'll, we'll see what we produce, but everything is looking good so far. Uh, it's an easy setup when you get it out the box. It's just two handles that need to be uh, screwed on and then you're pretty much ready to go, especially if you get the one that comes with the covers. All right, so now I just took the meat and stuff off. As you can see, it's still smoking. So I probably could have done a lot in here. Look at these pellets. Like they don't look all used in just that little session I did. So, you know, I can see yourself doing a uh, much larger size meats or maybe multiple cookings of different things that you have and your pellets will last you a good long time. So, let's go inside the in this world's eyes. We got the power, the movement begins. They ask you why. First off, don't judge my play school plate that you just seen, this paper plate here. I was really hungry and trying to eat. So, um, that's number one. Number two, you taste every bit of the smoke flavor from those pellets in this food. Uh, first was a little bit skeptical because I wasn't sure how much smoke was staying in there because you can't really see it. You just see it kind of coming out, but it is generating a lot of smoke. Um, and as I bit into the burger, 
that is the first thing I tasted. I've done many grills on the flat top one and I know how our seasoning and things taste, but you absolutely taste the smoke flavor. And I think doing other meats besides burgers and hot dogs, possibly chickens, turkeys, briskets, ribs, I, I think you're gonna definitely have what you're looking for out of this. Um, the kids said they loved it, so you know, you, you tell them that you're doing stuff different, smoke or whatever, so you try to see how they, what they think about it, and apparently they like it. Uh, babe, have you eaten a burger or part of your hot dog yet? She eating it now, and since she's quiet, I'm gonna take that as a yes, and she ain't sitting at the back, so I think it's good. Um, but yeah, we gonna finish back eating this, and I'm gonna give you my conclusion of this at the end. How we long, baby, this is what you get They ask you why, 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 baby, we so alive This is more than a All right, so after uh, grilling, eating, freshening up a little bit, uh, I am back. And I want to talk to you about closely two things, price and breakdown. So when you go in most stores, you're going to see this thing for about $329. And it normally would come with two packs of pellets. Uh, and you know of course the instructional book and all that good th stuff like that there are some other places like Walmart they may sell it for $2.97 and it doesn't come with the pellets it's just the actual uh, Ninja Outdoor Food Griller um, but we have two price tags for it there um, but they normally range the same price there's some bundles on Ninja's website that go up to $400 they may come with that table that separate table uh, an internal thermometer as well as maybe some extra uh, packs of pellets but as I said before there are some people who use th their own pellets they don't use the ones that are specifically there although Ninja does ask that you use the ones that are specifically there however I will have a link down below at the bottom for our price on our Amazon store which we have the same bundle that we just bought right here for $315 so let's talk about that price do I think $315 is the price that this should be placed at I'll just let you guys know probably in another month or so once I do some more of my larger cut meats and stuff like that. I will say for $300 it is a well put together great product. Again we just threw something on it real quickly to see if we were going to really get that smoke flavor out of it and we really did and just like any other uh, pellet smoker or grill you know those pellets are continually to smoke and ignite basically until you know they're out. And uh, I can say with that little machine, you get a lot of smoke flavor. You get a lot of smoke produced. So I cannot be mad at that for the price. It is a well-built price. And seeing that there, are, you know, this is a seven-in-one, everything from dehydrate to bake to air crisp to smoke to grill, you're gonna find something that you wanna do with pretty much all your cuts of meat. I'll probably still be using my grill out back that we have my flat top one uh, to do a lot of my burgers and things of that on but I'm trying to do like whole chickens, brisket, ribs, my larger cuts of meat, I'm for sure definitely going to use my Ninja Outdoor Wood Fire uh, Grill because it is definitely built for it and I think for that price tag you're going to get a lot of use out of it. Um, it's pretty simple cleanup, you know, you have your smoke box that you just let the ashes out, you clean that. The tray that's on there inside of the unit itself that's easily washable um i don't know if it's dishwasher safe i haven't figured that out but we just kind of just wash it out real quick and just a, a damp rag inside around where the fan processor and all that stuff is inside uh, and then you're pretty much done and i, I just put it back so uh, that is the ninja outdoor wood fire grill and smoker um, i hope y'all enjoyed that uh, like I said, don't judge that food. I'm going to come back with some other stuff. And then if there's a, other things that you guys want to see, just please leave it down in the comments. And I'll definitely test out uh, the machine ability for those particular cuts of meat. All right, let's pause for a second. Because since the timing of this video, we have recorded some extra things. So to begin, I finally got to use the smoke function on our Ninja Outdoor Wood Fire Grill. So we bought a pork shoulder and I said, you know what, we're gonna try this. I did the grilling portion, let's use the smoke portion. So I did my pork shoulder up right. And here is the results of that thing. When I tell you it pulled apart and it only took about four hours or less, 
for it to get to its eternal temperature and break apart easily. I roasted a whole chicken since I was here. I did it on smoke and then I put it there. And then I seared, smoked, and grilled four nice sized steaks. So when I tell you, yes, I agree with the price now. I know a few minutes ago I didn't say that, but I agree with the price now. So, see y'all on the next one.